Hi everybody, it's me Sandy and I'm back with another nail art video. This week it's snowflakes and a holographic top coat. Hope you enjoy this one, it was a lot of fun to do. I'm starting off with my favorite base coat, Anchor by Zoya. I love this one because it really does make my manicures last. Now that the base coat is dry, I'm going to put on two coats of this really nice multi-chrome polish from Fun Lacquer called Eternal Love. As usual, all links will be in the description box. I found that the first coat went on a little, well, very sheer and was a little bit hard on top of the anchor. Maybe I didn't let it dry long enough, but once the second coat was on, the polish just looked amazing. After that was dry, I put on a coat of Armor by Zoya. After the top coat was completely dry, I got out my stamping plate and my stamper and it's time to get stamping. Now I did have some problems with my stamping polish because it had gotten a little bit thick over time. Um, later on after I was done this video I did speak to Clear Jelly Stamper and they told me to just thin it out with some nail lacquer thinner and that worked really great. This did not stamp properly on my nail this first attempt so I didn't want to of course start again so I took some scotch tape and just pulled that right off my nail. I had considered re-stamping what was there and I just said that's kind of silly. As you can see, my second attempt was much better. I did a mixture of small and large snowflakes on all my nails just so I could get them nice and covered but still see that beautiful multi-chrome polish underneath. I had a lot of fun sprinkling the different sizes and shapes of the snowflakes all over my nails. Sometimes it's hard for me to know when I've got enough. I decided to stick with just white snowflakes on this design because in my test designs I found that the silver polish I had been considering as well to mix it up a bit just didn't show up enough on this beautiful multi-chrome polish. After I was finished sprinkling these pretty snowflakes all over my nails I followed it up with a holographic top coat. Just a little tip to remember when putting top coat over a stamp design to float some top coat over your nail and just ensure that your brush stroke doesn't hit the design otherwise it will smear it no matter how long you let your top coat dry. By being a little bit heavier handed with your top coat it saves you a lot of time in the long run and keeps your design looking really pretty. After the holographic top coat was dry, I then followed up with another coat of my Armor by Zoya just to seal everything in. I'm really happy with how this design turned out. Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked that video, if you could please hit that like button, as well as subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, if you could please hit the post notifications so you can find out when I upload a new video. Thank you, and have a great day.